Hey guys, this one's gonna be short and sweet because the main thing I wanna do is make sure that you guys know about this feature. Um, actually using this feature is very, very easy. It only takes about two clicks to make it work. Uh, so it's mostly knowing when it's appropriate and knowing that you have it at your disposal. So the idea is as you're designing a responsive site and you have a desktop version and a mobile version, not everything that makes sense on the desktop version is going to make perfect sense on the mobile version. Uh, and an example of that, if we scroll down here, uh, an example of that is this image of a phone with a screenshot of this app on it. Uh, it makes sense on desktop because you want to show that it's a phone app uh, and the phone really it doesn't take up too much extra space because we have all this screen real estate. Uh, the issue is on a phone, a picture of a phone on a phone with the app in the phone on your phone doesn't make much sense. You have like a phone inception thing going on. So the idea is that if we want to see this screenshot on the desktop breakpoint, but we don't want to see it on the mobile breakpoint, you can just do a right click on the image. And uh, I've had this weird issue where sometimes if I right click on the image, it goes inside the image frame. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. So if that happens, just click away and then do it again. I really don't know what's going on there. It seems like a glitch to me. Uh, that should happen when you click twice on an image, but I'm not clicking twice. So if you have that odd little issue, click away, come back and right click on it. And then we have these options here that say hide in breakpoint, which would mean hide from this desktop breakpoint, which I don't want to do or hide in other breakpoints, which in my case would hide in the mobile breakpoint since I'm currently looking at the desktop breakpoint. So I'm gonna do that, hide in other breakpoints. And I've actually already gone and done it for these other images here. So I've got a few elements that are hidden in the mobile breakpoint. So you might be thinking, well, then your screenshots don't show up in the mobile breakpoint. But the idea is that in the mobile breakpoint, I have screenshots that don't include the phone. Uh, they're full width, they, uh, they scale to fill the full width here. Uh, and because of that, because there's no phone, uh, when you're looking at it on a phone, it fits your phone and it just makes more sense than having a picture of a phone on your phone. Uh, so that is a nice example of something making no sense on mobile that makes perfect sense on desktop. The other thing that you're going to find is that your navigation may need to change. You may need to hide away your desktop navigation and reveal a mobile navigation. So you've got that right click trick at your disposal and the other thing that I want to talk about really, really quickly is that the layers panel actually comes into play here. And if you expand the layers panel, and uh, if you don't see it at all, you can always go to window and you can turn on layers. Uh, once you have layers turned on, you'll notice that this little eyeball, it's not so much an eyeball on all these layers, it's a little dot. And uh, it's trying to tell you something. It's trying to tell you that on this particular breakpoint, that layer is visible. So if I didn't want this layer to be visible, if I find it here and I just uncheck it, <laughs> in a way, unbullet point it uh, on the layers panel here, when I go to my other breakpoint, it's still there because each breakpoint has its own sort of memory of what's going on on the layers panel with regard to visibility. So just know that if you want to do this uh, in a big batch of layers, you can do it from the layers panel uh, and just know that the layers panel now behaves differently uh, when you have breakpoints. It's on a breakpoint by breakpoint basis, which is really, really cool. So next week, we're actually going to be talking about how to build this mobile navigation. It's really, really awesome. If I preview this in the browser, just to get you guys excited for next week. Um, I think this is a really, really cool feature because the desktop navigation disappears and we get a mobile navigation that actually works really, really well on a mobile device. I've tested it a bit and it works really well. So we get to this breakpoint, see we hide the desktop, reveal the mobile, and when we click, it even pushes everything down and shows us our menu. And it is responsive. So no matter how wide the mobile device is, it still fits. So we're going to talk about how to do that next week and this uh, hide in breakpoint, hide in other breakpoints things comes into play. So I wanted to get that out of the way and make sure everyone's comfortable and familiar with that first. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. I've got more cool stuff coming soon. Please subscribe if you have not already. And uh, go to museresources.com and download all the free stuff. See you guys soon.